And everybody is set for this matchup between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Cleveland Browns here at Cleveland Browns Stadium. Yeah, it is. When you talk about the Cleveland Browns and, and the Cincinnati Bengals, what do they want? They want the same thing that those Pittsburgh Steelers have. They want their franchises to be talked about as one of the best best in the NFL. They're both on a, uh, rebuilding. They're, they're definitely on the upswing. And, Jim, I think today's game is going to tell us which one's farther along in their program. There really is a lot of pride about being the best team in your state when these two teams clash. Oh, well, there's no doubt about it. When you talk about teams in the same state, yeah, you want to control that area. You want to be the one that everybody talks about. And uh, they both have young, outstanding quarterbacks and two coaches trying to get the message across to their players what they're teaching and preaching is what's going to lead them to success. And a touchback. Offense lines up here. First and ten. Trying to work that left side. And almost picked off. Quarters formation here for the defense. Down at 10. Right where it had to be. How do you stop these receivers now? It's almost impossible with the rules of the game. Uh, tight coverage. That time they have double coverage on him. It doesn't matter. The throw comes. They go up. They make the catch. All you can do is raise your arm and go, well, we did our best. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Searching for space to the right. When you're going against a really athletic defense, there's nothing like reverses and the counter run game because they see it, they go, and you counter it, and that's why it works to perfection. Try over again on second down. They're setting up screen. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. What a way to start the game on offense. Picking up another first down for them. They are in rhythm. And now no matter what they call, they're going to feel like they're going to make it happen. Now first and ten. Looking for an open receiver on the right. They've got him down there. They've marched right onto the field with this opening drive, and they're moving the chains with regularity. They sure are, and I think it's time for the defense to quit sitting in there in that bland defense they're running, take a chance, and try to stop this drive. They've got a first down now after that catch. The quarterback will hand it off. Going to lose yards here. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Play number six coming up on this drive. Makes the catch in the touchdown. You've got to take advantage of situations like this. Not often in the NFL do you get somebody this wide open. Good job by the receiver. Nice job by the quarterback seeing him. And what do you get? An easy touchdown pass. It's good. The Browns are back deep, ready to return.
He's a dangerous returner, and he'll have a chance to show you right here. Two tight ends on the field here. Play action, launching it deep, but it's incomplete. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against this cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Second down coming up. Here's the running play. Off tackle. Ball is out. And the defense has it. The defense comes up with the big play, the hit, and the recovery of the football. Uh, they sure did. They got so much speed on the defensive side, and that speed, when you think about it, it gets more people around the football. It helps you deliver the hit even harder, and that's why they got the turnover. Great job. First and 10. Run it with the counter. He's got a little bit of daylight here for a gain of about five. When you talk about counter runs, what we just saw that time, the defense thinks the play's going one way, then a pulling guard or tackle comes around and catches a defensive lineman off guard and makes a good block. He's looking to the right here on this throw. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Oh, there's nothing like a play-action pass. When the offensive lineman make it look like it's a run, the linebackers are all near the line of scrimmage and easy to throw it down the field for that completion. First down here after the completion. Ball's picked off. And he's brought to the ground. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. First down here from the gun. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Almost intercepted that time. It was a jump. Ball in essence for that throw. And in the end, the defense was able to make the play and deny the completion. In the NFL, it's always about the most physical guy wins, and that time it was a defensive player. Good job. Offense lines up here. Midway through the first. Play action fake, looking to throw. Well, here we are. It's a tie game now. We'll see how the teams react to it. Will it be positive or negative? Going to be a penalty here. Makes the PAT. Players from both sides made an appeal, but the referees say it's on the defense. The Browns have erased the deficit and can tie it right here. Count it. Browns ready to take it to the opponent. And a touchback. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Trying to find an opening to the right. He's brought to a halt. Excellent job of just picking up the first down. This offense is hot. Another first down, and they are moving down the field. First down here after the run. Staying with the running game on first down. Bringing the play to an end. Well, the defensive coach is going to be upset after this play. After that long run, terrible angles, and really just a lack of hustle by the defense gives up the long run. 
They're able to move the chains after that last run. And he's intercepted. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. Ryan Hoyer will take it from the center. McGahee's got it on the handoff. The off-tackle run It's just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle's block and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. Second down coming up. The give. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Nice job that time. The run play gets the first down. You move those chains. Hey, it's kind of fun to watch a team tough enough and patient enough to run the football to get these first downs instead of throwing it all the time. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. They feed it to him again. In on the stop. That's a nice job blocking by the offensive line and a really good job by the running back. Seeing the proper hole, gets up in there and picks up big yards. First down here after the run. McGahee, middle. Number 26, the ball carrier on the play. After the two-yard carry, it sets Let's up go, second down and eight. That will bring us to the end of the first quarter here in Cleveland. We'll be back momentarily for the start of the second. us to second down. They'll run with it again. And a gain of 14. Nice job that time by the offense getting the first down inside the red zone. And it's a good thing they got a quarterback with a strong arm because you got to throw into some tight spots in the red zone. Number six coming up on this drive. And they go back to the ground. Runs it across for the score. Touchdown. You got to give the offensive line just a lot of credit. It's first and goal. They just line up and power the football in there. Nice run, but a great job by the O-line. And the extra point is good. Billy Cundiff ready for the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. And they crash into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line.
First down on the way. He'll fire it out to the left. The Bengals get a first down. Zone defense doesn't work in the NFL like it used to. Good job by the quarterback reading that zone and finding the open guy. That reception gave them the first down. And he's going to be brought down. Well, you see it all the time. When the offensive line can't stop the defensive pass rush, then you have your running backs hit a defensive lineman before they go out for the pass. From the gun. Going for the deep ball. And they can't connect. In these type of situations when you're losing the game, it's third and long. Don't try to be a hero because when you try to be a hero, it's going to lead to a turnover. Then you really will be in trouble. Failing to connect there, third down, eyeing that left side. Jumps up and comes down with it. That time, the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read. But these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time, in double coverage, he went up, falls on the ground. And it's a takeaway. They pounce on him there. That's what you call a takeaway. The defense just makes such a hard hit that they take the football away from the offense and they recover the fumble. Brian Hoyer takes it from the center. Willis McGahee gets it here. Gahey is in the backfield. Second and seven. Quarterback drops back. Play action. Makes the catch. Touchdown. You see it so often now. If the receiver's not open, just throw it high. Let him go up in the air. Jump and make the catch. That's what we saw here. Nice, nice touchdown. And the point after is good. Ready to take it to the opponent. He'll start his return. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Challenging the defensive pass is intercepted. <laughs> the tackle was made. I, well, I have to say that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. Come to the line, and they put their receivers in a bunch formation. Tackles made. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Running down. 
Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Well, that time, the defense gets the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. And listen, I blame this one on the quarterback. When you see the defense in a situation like that, you must change the play. Don't waste one in the NFL. You don't get enough chances as it is, and that one lost yards. Now looking at third down. Play clock's running down. Will go Brown. A tackle that had to be made, and that'll set up fourth down. One yard gain on the play. We've hit the two-minute warning here in the first half. Offense lines up here. The Browns had a fourth down play coming up, but want to be sure about what they want to do here, so they burn a timeout. Billy Cundiff lining up for the field goal. The kick is good. Well, you come out there on the field as a defense. The offense has great field position. You've got to give them something different. The defense did. They stopped them, and they gave up the field goal. They're setting up return. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down into the open flat. Kind of completion this time. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Quarters formation here for the defense. to the right side and throwing. With two hands, he has it. Uh, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up and make the catch. Oh, almost caught. Not a good job that time by the quarterback. You see the cover two defense. you got to know where to throw the football. He did not, and that's why the ball goes incomplete. Second down coming up. Working that left side. Makes the reception. Quarterbacks love play action passes because the defense, sometimes they're expecting run. You fake it, easy completion down the field. This play set up by the long gainer. They run the counter play for about four. 
what that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. He's brought down. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they moving in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. Play number six coming up on this drive. First and ten, middle. That last stop made by Dequell Jackson. Second down here. Throwing now to his left, reaches out and grabs it. Well, even though they're down more than seven here, the offense down the red zone, it'll be good for them for the rest of this game, their confidence uh, for the offensive coach that they can punch this in for the touchdown. Ohio! Ohio! This will be the eighth play of this drive. First and goal, throws to the right, brings it into his body. In the end, it picks up only a yard. The Bengals, one timeout remaining. Second down. Looks to his left, has the catch, but the feet are not down. There's a difference. When you play zone, you drop back and you watch the quarterback and you react to the football. When you're playing man-to-man, -man, all you're worried about is where that receiver goes. You try to shadow him, look for the football, and try to make a play. This will be the 11th play of the drive. Looking for an open receiver on the right. That ball is going the other way. And the ball will be spotted at the 20. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. They bring him to the turf. That does it here for the first half. Bengals trail in this one. We're back here now in this one where the Browns are leading by 17. Let's quickly go to Danielle Bellini. She has an update. I got a chance to quickly speak with Brian Hoyer during halftime. So far, his team is out in front, and he told me the important thing now is playing smart. If they can control play and just avoid costly mistakes, they'll be in good shape in the second half. That's all from down here, guys. Back to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. down coming up second half gets rolling now as he takes the snap good job by the defense they stopped the offense at time on first down now the defense is in a good situation they went with the ground game on first down Bringing up second. Get ready. Setting up screen. Makes the grab. It's away from the stack. Gonna take it home for the touchdown. That was a nice job that time by the offense driving down for the touchdown to increase their lead. That really takes a lot of pressure off the defense. He made it.
the Bengals are ready to return the kick. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. Quarters formation here for the defense. The Bengals now move the chains. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. He's looking to the right here on this throw. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. Sometimes they tell the receiver just to go long, run a fly route, run a nine route, because that means straight ahead or a streak. Show the speed that you have and get it done. First and 10. Makes the catch in open space. Good job by the offense. They're in the red zone. They're down by more than seven. But the defense, can you stop them and just give up the field goal try? Let's see how they back up the big play here. The throw to the left. Makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown. The fade route, it's a big part of every offense now in the NFL. We see it here. Look at the receiver. Pins the defender inside. Beautiful throw to the outside. Fade for a touchdown. The Bengals with the PAT to come. No, it's not. It's a fake. Scram ball is out. Picking up the fumble. And now he's on the move. And they will not convert here on the two-point conversion. Good stand by the defense. They line up here for the onside kick. They want that football back. The flag is down. They have the ball back, and the play's continuing. The onside kick is not legal until the football travels 10 yards. Ryan Hoyer will take it from the center. First down and 10. It's the old end around. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. Well, when you get a defensive end that's not watching for the reverse, that's when you want to run that play. And that time, the offense, good time to call it, and good yardage picked up. Second and short, three, following three. the run. Get ready. Five, five, 38. Hey. They give it to the running back. Gets past the first wave. Ken, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. You're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Trying to beat the play clock. They'll stay on the ground on first down. That brings the play to an end. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down and he's in pain. I don't even want to speculate what the injury is, but I think it's safe to say by just watching the player, he's in a lot of pain, and I hope it's not serious. 
Get ready. This will be second down. The handoff to Willis McGahee. Brought down just two yards shy of the first down marker. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Another handoff. Scores the touchdown. Well, there's an old saying in the NFL, you know how many points you need? And the answer is more. So no matter what the lead is, keep trying to score. Nice job by the offense getting that extra touchdown. An extra point is good. Browns ready to take it to the opponent. They send it to the 20 yard line. They come to the line and it's first down. Dropping back three. Intercepted. And stop the play right there. Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run. But how about this interception? Good job. Good reading of the quarterback and a nice kick. First down. Get ready. Get ready. First and ten. McGahee's going to secure the handoff. Good piece of tackle. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. They better hurry to get the snap. Get ready. Leading on that running attack again here on first down. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Coming up, second down. The play clock's running down. Got a little screen set up here. Catch is made. Gain of four. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. You've got to do the dirty work, and this offense is doing it right now. Offense lines up here. Third and goal. McGahee over the line. Touchdown. Well, the defense knew that they were probably going to see a run here in third and goal. And what do they do? They don't, it doesn't matter. They still get blown off the line of scrimmage by the offensive line. Nice job. Awesome. Defense. 
the defense. A little jumpy right there. The Browns for the point after. Extra point was good. Browns ready to take it to the opponent. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. The defense comes down in the nickel. First and 10. He'll fire it out to the left. That's an interception. Good job that time by the defense, not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. They face first down quarterback tosses it to the outside they tackle him for a loss good job by the defense they stopped the first down play that time by the offense and now they have a good situation That'll bring us to the end of the third quarter here, just next door to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland, Ohio. We'll be back momentarily for the start of the fourth. Brian Hoyer takes it from the center. Here is the first snap of the final quarter. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. Hoyer still got the football after the play fake. The offensive line did a terrible job that time reacting to the blitz by the defense. They let the defenders come free, and they sacked the quarterback. And the kick is good for three. Well, that time the offense had great field position. They don't take advantage of it, but at least they get three points. Good job by the kicker coming in and getting some points on the board. They're setting up the return. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. Now on first down. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Gains 19. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. What a nice catch by the receivers. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Looking to the right side and throwing. Forgot to catch the football. It's really simple. Keep your eyes on the football. When they're not on it, that's when you drop it, and that's what happened that time. And here we have second down. Escaping the pressure. They're going to get him here for a sack. Nice job that time with the outside linebacker getting the sack. They ask a lot of these guys now. They are special players in the NFL. Stopping the run and the speed to get outside and get the sacks on the quarterback, too. Line 
lined up in the pistol formation. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. Trying to work that left side. There's the offense picking up another first down on third down. Perfect defense call that time. They allowed the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered, and you still couldn't make the play. Here's the first snap after the big play. That's a mindless error on the offense. Offense. Still first down. First and 15 after the penalty. Johnson's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Looking for a receiver on the left. Interception! He stacked up at that point. What a terrible job by the quarterback. But nobody's open. Tries to force the pass. And look, what's it turn into? An interception. Two tight ends. First and ten. Hoyer's got the football after the play fake. They're going to get him this time. When you're the quarterback and you see a blitz, you got to know you got to drop back, look at a receiver, and let it go. No hesitation is allowed. He hesitates, and the defense gets the sack. McGahee is in the backfield. Play clock's running down. Boyer sells the play fake and looks downfield. When you play man-to-man -man against this receiver, you're going to have a tough time. Quarterback's a good...